Children's Services. We want accountability to... Protesters came from all across the province, many with stories of how they say children's aid societies destroyed their families. Among the supporters this afternoon, Peterborough's own Brenda Wadby. In my opinion, I don't think CAS did their job properly. They should have, in my case alone, at the minimum spent that 100 bucks, got a second opinion, and my children would never have been gone. Wadby says her family was devastated by the CAS. I mean, it's rough on the kids. They're away from their home. Justine lost her daughter, her sister, and then her mother in one day. Everybody was gone out of her life. And she had nobody except for foster parents. Protest organizers want to make Bill 131 an issue in next year's provincial election. The bill would give Ontario's ombudsman the power to investigate a number of new agencies, including hospitals, retirement homes, and children's aid societies. I can guarantee that the ombudsman will, will find problems within each children's aid society across Ontario, all 52 of them. Um, and I, I can guarantee the public right now that uh, if he does an investigation, he will find that there has been cases, the malicious cases, and that they have tried to cover them up. The Kawartha CAS's Director of Services says there are avenues open to parents disputing aid workers' findings and actions taken by their societies through the Children's Aid Review Board and the courts. That said, they are open to more oversight. We always welcome um, any reviews or feedback and ways to improve our, our practice uh, welfare of the, the children. So in terms of a, a do we have a position on this, it's really up to the government to decide if that's another mechanism that they want to put in place or not. Bill 131 passed its first reading in the legislature in November. The organizers of today's protest are hopeful they will get its second reading and the next sitting of the legislature beginning in January. Dave McGowan, Checks News Watch, Peterborough.